It's December 24th, 2010, and um, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I'm out in nature right now. Uh, Mystic is showing how he's uh, preparing, you know, his uh, canned goods and his stairs and his house and everything. And I'm building a camp, and I'd kind of like to... I want to take videos of it, and uh, but I want to put some things up every now and then. Um, anyway, I'm going out to the place right now. It's kind of hard to get to. It's actually about a mile or so from where I actually live. But it's out in nature. And you kind of have to know how to get there. I think I went too far. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. I've spent a good portion of my life trying to live outdoors, and I've learned a few things about doing that, how to live outdoors. And so I thought maybe if the Over the Peak group wants to learn how to build a, you know, a shelter or anything like that, uh, maybe I can give you some pointers or something. So here it is. Here's where I think I'm going to build the... A shack, not a real big one. And uh, you can see the leaves are gone. It's not too bad today. The sun is pretty low. It's about 2 o'clock. But at least, the, you know, it's a blue sky. And this little spot here, I don't think I'll have to kill any trees or anything like that. Just I put it, because I'm going to build it on top. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build a little platform, maybe 3 feet high or so, and then put it on top. The reason I'm doing that is so it, it, the camp won't be visible from outside this little forest. This is a... Uh, I don't even know whose land this is, but they're not using it. So anyway, the first step, besides finding a place, a good spot out in nature, where you're not going to be bothered, is, at least for me, is to gather a bunch of wood. And that's what I've been doing the last few months or so. So I got all this wood here, and I pile it, I, I put it, you know, facing up so it looks kind of like trees to anybody on the outside of this little forest. And I'm hoping to build a platform maybe 8 feet by 8 feet. So I've just got most of this wood. A lot of 2x4s. This is all abandoned wood, or I pulled it out of the river. And here is what I'm going to build it on. I found some railroad ties. And I cut them to three foot lengths. And uh, so that I'm going to have four of those. Then I'll put two by fours or even thicker, maybe four by fours, uh, on top of that. So the thing will actually be off the ground. And I think that'll be very very difficult to see from outside this this forest. It'll be in the middle of the forest kind of and it's kind of hard to get in because it's you know uh, you just kind of got to know the way and I've made kind of a maze <laughs> to get in here. Here's a nice four by four seven feet long or so. I think I have enough to actually start putting it together. Of course I can't hammer out here because if people might hear it so I'm going to tie it together or, you know, screw it together with bolts with a bit and brace. There's another of the railroad ties. And I'll be able to camp out here if necessary and camp out. I like camping out anyway. Right under the stars. So this is December, 20, almost Christmas, and uh, I hope by next summer this thing will be built. And I'm not going to put up every little progress, but, you know, kind of a, every month or so maybe, how it's going. This is the biggest spot in this forest that I've found. Well, I don't have to, you know, I don't want to kill trees unnecessarily, but this is, this would, uh, eight by eight would fit right in here. So I have a nice open spot 
nice view of the sky. So that's the plan, and um, we'll see what happens. <laughs>